What's up guys, Shane Stars here. If you know me, then you know that I am a coffee lover and coffee has really been part of my morning ritual for as long as I can remember. For the past several years, the microwave has also been a part of that daily ritual as I'm not the fastest of coffee drinkers. It normally takes me an hour or so to drink my coffee. So of course I was super excited when Thermojo reached out to me to sponsor a video on their Thermojo travel mug. And apparently they really believe in their product because they also sent out an Ember travel mug too to compare their mug to as well. We're gonna do that in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the price of the two different mugs. I think that is one of the standout differentiators of these two mugs. So if we take a look at the Ember Travel Mug 2, it is $199.95. Now, I personally have never seen any of the Ember mugs on sale. The Thermojo Travel Mug, by comparison, is definitely more affordable. It's usually $139.99. Subscribers to this channel can save an additional 30% when you use the code TJFAMILY22 at checkout. When it comes to the design of these mugs, I have to admit that the Ember Travel Mug 2 is definitely a bit more flashy. It does have a touch-enabled LED array, which can give you the temperature. It can give you controls to regulate the temperature of your mug. It gives you the battery life on there as well. For sure, it's definitely more flashy. Both of these mugs have their benefits when it comes to design. The Thermo Joe is also more of a minimal design. It's just kind of a tall cylinder, whereas the Ember mug actually has a bit of a lip towards the top, which can make it easier to grip. I find myself holding both mugs at the top of the mug anyway. Both mugs have a lid that can be opened with one finger. Also, the Thermo Joe lid can be opened without touching the drinking hole. You actually have to touch the drinking hole on the Ember mug, so with the Thermojo, you don't have to worry about transferring germs. I do like the fact that the Thermojo has a lock on the lid, so if you're like me and you've got young kids around, if you have the lid locked, it's not like they can open it and burn themselves when they drink. The Ember mug, on the other hand, has a 360 lid, so both of them vent well. Um, if you like to be able to drink your coffee from any angle, maybe you prefer the lid on the Ember mug. Both are super easy to operate, uh, but the Ember Mug's a little bit more flashy, so that really just boils down to personal preference. Another design feature where I think that the Thermo Joe actually comes on top is the fact that it is lined with ceramic. So the Ember Mug is stainless steel on the outside and the inside, so if you don't like a metallic taste to your coffee, then the Thermo Joe may be the mug to go with because it actually has that ceramic insert. Uh, inside the mug. Also think it's worth mentioning that the Thermo Joe mug holds 16 ounces of coffee. That's two whole cups of coffee for me. The Ember mug only holds 12 ounces, so I can get like a cup and a half of coffee in the Ember mug. When we're talking about the technologies of the different mugs, the Ember Travel Mug 2 uses seven temperature sensors, a rapid cooling system, a microprocessor controlled heating system, and temperature presets to dial in the perfect temperature. And you can actually control the Ember mug from your smartphone or there's controls on the side of the mug and you can set the actual desired temperature. So if you need your coffee at exactly 138 degrees, you can set it to 138 degrees. The Thermo Joe includes a six layer double wall stainless steel construction with all those layers, the insulation there. This can keep your coffee hot for several hours, whether or not you even turn the battery on. With the Thermojo, you do get five different preset temperatures. Personally, for me, I like it on a level three, so right in the middle there. It can get even too hot if I go all the way to the maximum heat level. The Thermojo also intelligently regulates the temperature of the coffee inside the mug. So really, you have to ask yourself, do you wanna pay the extra to be able to dial it down to a specific temperature on the Ember mug, or just having the perfect temperature from one to five is that also acceptable? And for me, number three on the Thermo Joe is the perfect temperature anyhow. When it comes to the ease of use, both of these are very easy to use. So with the Ember Mug, it does have a touch control. You kind of have to touch it just right. So for me, I have to turn my thumb sideways and touch it. If I try to just hit it with my index finger, it doesn't light up. But as long as I hit it with the side of my thumb, then it's good to go. It does have the option to change the temperature on the mug, or you can choose to operate that function within the application. It's also not that difficult to set up the application for the Ember Travel Mug 2. 
The Thermojo, on the other hand, is just totally simple. It just has two buttons. It has a power button and it has a temperature control button. And all you have to do is touch either of those buttons and you're good to go. Super simple, super easy. Anybody can control the Thermojo. The main thing that really sets the Thermojo apart from the Ember Mug is definitely the battery life and the charging. The Ember Mug advertises three hours of use on a single charge. I'm able to get anywhere from two and a half to three and a half hours on the Ember Travel Mug 2. The Thermo Joe, on the other hand, seems to last forever. So in my testing with both lids open, I was able to get three and a half hours on the Ember Mug on a single charge. I was able to get five hours Plus, there was still battery life left on the Thermojo travel mug. In my day-to-day -day testing of the Thermojo, I'm able to get up to eight hours or even more because usually I keep the lid closed and it doesn't have to do as much work regulating the temperature. And usually I have found that on the Ember mug in my day-to-day -day testing, when I time it, I usually get about two and a half to three hours on the Ember mug. And the other major difference here is the charge time. So the Ember mug usually takes more than two hours to charge. It comes with a charging plate. You have to have the charging plate if you want to charge the battery. So it's not really an on the go mug because you're tied down to that charge plate. With the Thermojo, anywhere you have a USB charger, you have the ability to charge the Thermojo. Not only that, but they have interchangeable batteries so you can actually carry a spare battery with you and extend the battery life of this Thermojo mug even further. So, you know, if you're going on a camping trip or something like that, you've got several days worth of power on the Thermojo, whereas on the Ember mug, you've got to have a wall outlet. You have to be tied down and tethered to that charger. And with the power supply being removable, you can easily and thoroughly hand wash the mug. The power supply is also interchangeable with the 14 ounce desk mug. So it's nice that this can be used for both the travel mug and the desk mug. With the USB charger, you're able to get a full charge on the Thermojo in about an hour. And the beauty of having that USB-C port is that you can also use the battery to charge up your cell phone in an emergency. If you had to get out a quick call, you would be able to charge up your phone using the Thermojo's battery. So that's just an additional plus. Both of these mugs are only as good as their charger because they have to have power in order to operate. With the Ember mug, it does charge with a charging plate and it has two little connectors. So if those connectors go bad, I've had that happen before and I was without coffee for a few days while I waited on my new charge plate. The Thermojo charges with a USB-C charger. You can pick that up at any gas station, any Walmart, any store, you can get it online. Uh, and most of us have dozens of USB chargers laying around the house. So you're never gonna have to worry about not being able to charge the Thermojo. When it comes to accessories, I really think the Thermojo shines here. The Ember Travel Mug 2 is pretty much a one trick pony. So you can put hot liquid in the Ember Mug. It's going to keep it at the temperature that you set for up to three hours, but that's basically all that it can do. The Thermojo has a few accessories that you can purchase for an additional charge. They have cooling rods. So for $15, you get these little cooling rods. So I don't know if you remember when you took your lunch to school, your mom had like a little gel pack that she would freeze overnight and it would keep your lunch cold throughout the day. Well, these little cooling rods, you put them in the freezer overnight and they will keep your beverages cold. So not only can the Thermojo keep your beverages hot, but with the additional cooling rods, they can keep your beverages cold for hours and hours. For $10, you can get a stainless steel tea infuser. So this is just a stainless steel mesh insert that you can put tea in and actually brew tea inside of the Thermojo mug. So there again, this is more of an on the go, like taking it with you. You get lots of hours of charge. So you can take this thing camping and brew tea inside the mug. You can also use this for pour over coffee, heat the water up in the mug, pour it into another container, and then do actual pour over coffee in your mug. So definitely the ability to have these extra accessories and extra functions, I definitely think that that makes the Thermojo unique and stand out. In the end, you'll have to make the best decision for you. And while I have to admit that the Ember mug is definitely more flashy, you're paying for that extra flash. The Thermojo is simpler easier to operate, the battery lasts much longer, and it is half the price and sometimes less than half the price. For me, you just can't beat the value of the Thermojo travel mug, and I've already converted over to Thermojo, maybe you will as well. 
I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick up the Thermojo mug for yourself. I'll also be sure to leave that code TJFAMILY22 so you can save an additional 30% off when you check out. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.